This is James Ball from the Hacking Beavers Group. I'd like to start with a very quick overview of the project. Our team is working to create an in-game cheat menu for the game Pwn Adventure 3, Pony Island, developed by Rusty Wagner. Along the way, we'd like to better understand how Windows loads games into memory and how that memory is organized to give the user a smooth experience. We also want to understand what the vulnerabilities are so that we can build both internal and external exploits and manipulate the game's mechanics. So I'd like to introduce you to some of the tools our group will be using in this project, the first of which is Cheat Engine. Now our group has been primarily using Cheat Engine to find key variables in memory. Our health right now is 153. Let's try to find that in memory. We know from messing around a bit that it's a four byte value, so let's scan a bit. 63, that's quite a bit to navigate through. So what we're gonna do, modify our health a little bit. 94. Two values. Much easier to look through. Let's manipulate a little bit and see what's what. We'll change that to 444. Hey, our health changed. Let's test this one too. 333, nope. So our health is stored here at E9DD8. Because keep in mind, this is a dynamic address. It will change next time the game is loaded. All right, EDX plus F8. Now let's go ahead and see if we can't find where that is in memory. and right away we see some static addresses. Static addresses are good because when we restart the game, we know that these will be in the same spot, unlike this dynamic address, which will point to something completely different when the game is restarted. For the sake of time, I'll, I'll tell you through guess and check, we found that uh, address 50F4F4 was the player address. And remember we have the F8 offset to get to health. We will say this is a pointer with one offset of F8, and that holds the value of our health. The next tool on our list is Reclass. It does not have the same friendly UI that Cheat Engine does, but so far I found it to be overall more powerful. Like Cheat Engine, you can use it to navigate memory and find key variables. See, here's health, armor, our pistol reserve ammo. One big advantage that you can use in Reclass is that it can generate classes in C++ format, uh, which you can then use to copy-paste the code and use it in hacks. This way you don't actually have to keep worrying about finding offsets of static addresses. The next tools on our list are IDA and Ghidra. These are dissemblers. Now it's easy to get to the assembly code, but we found that actually translating this on the fly into game mechanics can be a bit difficult, so disassembling the code can give us a better idea of what a function is actually doing. So in this case, we were able to find the previous assembly code was actually the function for uh, recoil. You can actually override it with a no-op, which will eliminate recoil entirely from this weapon once we inject it into the game. Lastly, our group will be using Visual Studio. This gives us access to things like Git process ID, read and write process memory, and we can use this to modify addresses within memory. This is an example of an external hack for Assault Cube that we downloaded, and when it's run, it will modify the ammo count of the currently equipped weapon. All right, so what have we learned? We've learned a bit about how game data is loaded into RAM and how we can go about navigating and manipulating that memory. We've also learned that the same process for hunting down these variables doesn't work for every game. Assault Cube has essentially two steps to find the static pointer to health, but using a comparable method, I cannot seem to find a pointer to how much gold the player has in the game Baldur's Gate, which if I remember correctly is built on the Infinity Engine. Similarly, in Pwn Adventure 3, the only pointer uh, that we've been able to be consistent in nailing down is the one to mana but things like health, ammo, and location, although we can manipulate them, we cannot find the offsets of those quantities from any static address. As far as next week's plans go, our group needs to find more static addresses for our target game. We should also explore the possibility of using alternate methods to find these static addresses rather than hunting them down one by one if we're going to make any significant hacks. And then as a proof of concept, we might want to take one of these hacks that we found in Visual Studio, and given that we know the static address of mana, uh, we should try to write an internal or external hack ourselves and see if we can't manipulate this game uh, without touching something like Cheat Engine.